Lindy Candy and Hate or 3000. Perry? Perry the Platypus? Is that you? That was weird. Perfect. Halloween can be a lot of fun. I like dressing up and, you know, for one night, pretend I'm a cowboy or even a mad scientist. Carving a spooky pumpkin or even making some scary sounds when the kids come trick-or-treating. And we can have fun with it because we know it's not real. But sometimes in life, fear can be real. David, in many of his psalms, speaks of his fear. People were out to get him, even members of his own family. In Psalm 25, he prays, Turn to me and help me. I am lonely and hurting. Take away the troubles of my heart. Set me free from my great pain. Look at how I'm hurting. See how much I suffer. Take away all my sins. Look at how many enemies I have. See how terrible their hatred is for me. Guard my life. Save me. Don't let me be put to shame. I go to you for safety. In these verses, David openly expresses his thoughts and feelings about all the things that are going wrong in his life. And instead of letting his feelings of loneliness and suffering overwhelm him, David chose to put his trust in God. In the midst of his fear, David recognized that only God could save him. When we are fearful, we can also remember the words in Isaiah. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Throughout the Old Testament, we are constantly reminded that God is there for us. Joshua writes, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. It's not even a suggestion. It's a command. One of my favorite moments in the Bible uh, that speaks about not being afraid is found in the second chapter of Luke. So there are a bunch of shepherds out doing what they do, hanging out with their sheep at night, watching them. You know, these big rough and tough guys. And all of a sudden, they're afraid because there are all these angels showing up. And they didn't understand what was going on. But the angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. And that's the best reason to not be afraid. Jesus came to earth for you and for me and is with us in every situation. So have some spooky fun this coming weekend, but always remember that we really have nothing to fear because God is always with us. It is complete. That can be an eight or now it is time to load the candy. Trick or treat. Ooh, maybe I need to recalibrate. <laughs>